Hello guys. So uh, in the previous part, we have discussed about how to uh, install the free software for Python. That is, we install PyCharm Community Edition and also we discussed the very basics of Python. So in this uh, part, we are going to learn how to write your first, that is very first Python program. It's going to be a very simple program. I'm going to be telling you some important things which you can note down uh, and you can, uh, can start your coding journey with Python. Okay. So I have opened the Python charm software uh, it will be looking something like this i have a project open but i will tell you how to create a project and stuff like that so don't worry okay so when you open your pycharm software it will look like this go to this three not three it's like four lines click on the you can see a file then there's a new project i'm going to give the name here it will show the directory location. You can change it to whatever location you like to. Basically, it's the path where the program is getting stored. All your programs is getting stored. I'm going to give it the name test1. I believe I already have a test. So I'm going to give the name of the project as test1. And then I'm going to leave all the other options like this. I'm not going to do anything here. Just click on create. So it's asking to create in a new window or a, this window attach or cancel. I'm going to give just this window. Okay, you can see the test one is created now. Creating virtual ENV or environment. I'm waiting for it to close out this small box. Okay. Yeah. Now, when after it is closed, we will create a python yeah it's closed now now there will be something here uh, just close it out yeah these are the things that you can see there's nothing much you have just created a project inside you need to add the python file go to your library root click on the right click button not the button click on right click go to create new file in the options you will have python file if it is not just give the name of the file then dot py then it will be creating python okay dot py is the extension for python python file i need to create a python file not a python unit test or python stuff maybe we will learn that in advanced courses but in this we'll basically learn to uh, So after uh, you have created the project, there is nothing much in the uh, in this side, uh, which is the yeah left side. And you can see test one. Then you can see some external libraries. Click on this test one. I believe automatically it will be expanded. Then there's a new uh, uh, what is it library root there. Right click on that. Uh, yes. When you right click on this one you will get a new option create a file uh, if the options is not uh, listed out like this if there is not a python file just create a file name and then give dot py option and the dot py option is for python files okay so i'm going to select from this uh, python file then it is giving you more options python file python unit test python stuff i'm going to just create a python file for this uh, project because it's basically the uh, very simple and the first program so it's very simple yeah so that's what i'm going to give the name as sample one and then select the python file option my computer takes a little bit time to accept the input i don't know okay anyway so the file is created now you have to uh, start typing in this can create um, whatever project whatever program you want to do here you can do it i'm just creating a very basic or a simple program okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, like a hello world program we are going to do okay so 
uh, so I believe you have uh, experience with these basic programs like Hello World and stuff. In other languages, if you have or if you don't have, that's okay. Now I'm going to type print. So have you seen when I typed print, it's giving you automatically the option for print statement. You can select from it or you can just type. I'm going to write hello uh, world. I am not very good with spellings, but anyway. So this is the first statement I am writing here. So print hello world. And if you run it, you can see current file. If there is multiple files you have created, it will list out all the options. Now you just have one file, so current file, and then run yeah see the output window opens here here you can see all the errors and things and it has already printed the hello world so this print statement it's uh, getting printed in the output okay I'm going to minimize this one next line if I'm going to print another one okay I'll show you something print Hi. Okay. Remember, you don't need semicolons and things in Python. It's usually with Java. Don't need it with Python. Did you notice when I type the next print statement, it is uh, showing some errors, some red lines is there in the sides of the print. Why is it? Can you tell me? Or if you know Python, you should be knowing this. Or if you don't know Python, let me just tell you what is the reason. Okay. So Python is a type of a programming language which, which is very specific about the, the lines and the indentation. Indentation is the, the word. Indentation means it, it wants everything to be in specific lines and the spacing and everything should be perfect. So it expects the line, the second line, that is line two, also in the same line with the first one so that it can process it. So if I remove the space here, the error is gone. And if I put an unnecessary space here, it doesn't like it because there is an indentation. Okay, there is a spacing. And that spacing is not expected there unless and until you are putting it in some other loops or you are not putting it, you know, if you are not creating some other loops or some while statement or something that space is unnecessary and unnecessary spaces and unnecessary you know gaps and everything is not really preferred for python so it doesn't like it that's why it's throwing an error so if i run this one now see indentation error unexpected intent it doesn't like that intent so this spacing unnecessary uh, spacing or this gaps is called intent and it's not pretty happy with it so I'm going to remove it and it's okay with it. And if I run it again, I can see the next print statement also. So does that make sense? So in Python, even though it is the very easiest language, you have to be very specific with the, the spacing and the alignment of the code. Alignment of the code and the line by line arrangement of the code is very important for Python. So if you are using a proper id it will show you okay there is an error there is an error here like that it will tell you so don't worry about that things but you have to be specific about the spacing so that is one thing you should be understanding i hope that is clear so when you are learning python you should be knowing this thing now next i'm going to uh, take what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my name from the user and I'm going to print it with my hello world. Okay. So I'm going to create a variable name. And I'm going to use the keyword input. Okay. Now I'll explain what is input before that. In order to get something from the user, you use the keyword input. Enter your name. And Yes. Okay. So here it's asking the user to enter the user's name. 
okay let me just run and then i will tell you what is happening here so if i'm typing a new the program is finished so it expects me to enter something as an input and automatically all the inputs are being taken as strings there are different data types in python in um, any programming languages there is integer floating type boolean type there is character there is string so this is one thing whenever you are not uh, specifically using any keywords all the inputs are being taken as strings okay so name is equal to input so it takes the name as a string and then it exits it doesn't print out anything just takes the name okay next let me let me print this now print sorry i used capital p that's not the syntax print uh, my name is and then i'm using a comma and then i'm using name so i expect it to print it out let's see okay run enter your name i'm going to type anu and it prints my name is anu so this is very simple print the first line is print hello world it just prints out there is nothing we are doing there in the next line that is in line 2 i am asking the user which is basically me here to enter the name and i'm using the keyword input so if you want anything from the user or if uh, the program uh, you know if you are designing a program in which the it expects something from the user you use the keyword input and then you type enter your name because i just want the user to enter its name and if you want to uh, print it out through a print statement then use my name is the name so you just use a variable name now there is another way in which you can incorporate this in a print statement so we have seen the normal print statement in which you print something and also you can uh, along with that you can print a value of a variable which is basically in the name here now let's explore another type of print statement which is called the formatted print okay formatted print statement now in this formatted print this is basically see whatever is given in the double quotes we print it out that's a that's basically we are doing in the print right so inside the double quote itself you can incorporate a variable and you can incorporate the value of the variable how to do it let's see so what you do here is you just type print and inside print you give an f okay so and this f is nothing but the formatted print statements f and after the f we give a double quotes and then you type whatever you want to type my name uh, is and you give a space and then you want to bring in a variable right so you give a curly braces inside the curly braces you can type the variable okay this is the structure of a formatted print in a formatted print you type print and then after the normal parenthesis you put an f the f denotes the formatted print okay so this is my name is and then the variable inside the curly braces means you are expecting some values from a variable it can be taken from the user or it can be something from the program and if you run it let's see yeah it's typing hello world enter your name i am going to type my name here and then it prints in two ways this is the print this is the formatted print okay so inside both are doing the same thing one is taking directly the variable second one if you have noticed the curly braces is inside the double quotes okay and inside the double quotes we are incorporating a variable so the variable should be in a curly braces okay yeah so if you want to get the first name and the last name let's see how to do it so i'm going to type first name and then enter your uh, first name yeah then i'm going to go to the next line i'm going to tell last name so these are my two variables 
and both I'm taking from the user okay and I'm going to give enter your last name so basically we have first name last name like that so print your I'm going to type my name is I'm going to type inside this first name yeah so the first name here and then if you want to incorporate the last name also then type it will automatically suggest the value so just there is no print a name yeah so it is automatically suggesting the value so uh, if you type start typing it will automatically suggest something so you can select from it i'm going to give uh, the line 4 a comment I'm going to comment out it. So if you want to comment it out, you have to go for a hash. In the Python, hash is a comment. Okay, if you want to comment a line, it's hash. Now it will, I hope it will print the first name and the last name. Then let us run. Enter your first name. I'm going to type Anu. Enter your last name. I'm typing Bhaskar. And then it is my name is Anu Bhaskar. So this is the first ever program that we have done in Python. I'm sitting at my uh, cozy atmosphere in my home. I'm, I'm learning this. I'm enjoying this. And I hope you are enjoying it with me too. Okay, so let's see in the next part of the video. Probably we'll be discussing some basic arithmetic operations there. Okay, so yeah, waiting for the next part. Hope to see you in the next part.